everybody. My name is Ashley Floyd and I'm an engineer with the Department of the Navy. I actually got a rock star here with me today and I'm gonna let him introduce my introduce himself. Hi Reese, tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, where you're from. Hey Ashley, uh, my name is Reese Coe. I work for the Department of the Navy. I'm a data scientist out here in uh, Ventura, California. Oh, so um, you're in, in California. What do you, where do you work? Uh, the Naval Surface Warfare Center in Port Wyoming. So we're on a Navy base and uh, we support a lot of the maintenance and stuff that goes on on the on the ships. Okay, okay. So, so you're a data scientist. What is a data scientist? Uh, well, first off, data is um, there's so much data out in the world, and that's a big uh, topic these days. You know, so every time you swipe your credit card at the store or you send a tweet out in the world, there is data being collected. And uh, my job as a data scientist is to create these functions and these programs that take in the data and then output some information or some something to help someone else make a decision. Okay, so, all right, so data. So when I swipe my credit card and I, I go to the store, like it's collecting data, like where's all this data stored? It depends on where you're at, but for the Navy, like that's part of my job is to create these systems that can efficiently store the data in, a, in, in an efficient way so that it's not overloaded because there's there's so much being collected out there with these uh, every, all the Navy ships and everything. So so how is how is the Navy using data and then data scientists? Um, just like everyone, we want to get good information out of what we're collecting. So a big hot topic right now for the Navy is predictive maintenance. Um, so instead of reacting when a ship um, a part breaks down on a ship, we are trying to predict when we need maintenance done. So. It, it, for example, like if we bring in a ship for maintenance and then send it back out, um, another part could break down and we'd have to bring it back in and, and keep it out of commission, you know? So to kind of minimize the amount of time that the ships are down, we're um, creating these algorithms to predict um, when the parts will break down based on, you know, how long they've been in place, some of the environmental conditions in the hull or when the last checkups were. Wow, wow. So besides the Navy, where do data scientists work? Like what are some of the other companies that they can work at? Well, that's the great thing about data science. It's like a huge up and coming field and every industry, every company has data right now. Um, so it, I have friends who work in finance or big tech companies or the real estate market or sports even. Um, so that's the cool thing about data science is it's, it's so spread far and everyone needs data scientists right now. Oh, that is awesome. So, so did you want to be a data scientist when you grew up? How did you get into that? Uh, I always wanted to be an engineer, actually, because my dad was and I, I, I saw like the, the life that he was living. I like that. Um, but then I did a high school internship program to the Navy and um, kind of realized it wasn't for me. You know, it was it was fun to be hands on and things like that, but it wasn't my forte. So uh, I was actually able to come back a different summer and try out some data science work. And um, that's where I, I really like fell in love with computer coding and, and computer science things. Wow, so you were internship in, in high school for the Department of the Navy. What internship program was that? Um, it was the CEP program. So that's a high school internship program. And uh, you get to come in with the security clearance and work 40 hour weeks, work, work full time with all these adults. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Wow, okay, so, so you did this and you said you came back for another summer. Was that a high school student or you did that in college? Uh, I did that in college too. Um, and that was the NREP program. So same idea of just getting real world experience, um, you know, applying everything that you're learning in classes to that in actual industry. Whoa, whoa. So, so the Navy has internships for high school students and college students. Did you, were you able to get internships the entire time while you were in college? Yeah. Every summer since I graduated high school, I was actually able to come and work with the Navy. Wow. And then, and then like, so you did that your senior year too, or was there something, uh, what else did you do in your internships? So after a few years of working with the same group and they were liking me a lot, um, I got accepted into the scholarship program where they helped me. They paid for my school for two years and then I had a two year job after graduation. So um, that was a really sweet setup to not have to worry about trying to figure out a job after my college graduation. And now I'm here working full time. So what program was that? What, what you said they paid for your school and then you got a job after that? Yeah, that was a smart program. So that's full tuition, full room and board and, and everything. So um, could not have asked for a better setup with internships sprinkled in there too. Oh my goodness. Like I did not know that the Navy had anything like this. And so, you know, getting some exposure like from your dad and then getting into that world, like, like that's fantastic. Like, where do you want to, where do you see yourself in data science in the future? Like, what are you doing now? Um, so right now the Navy is um, just trying to get a lot of infrastructure behind artificial intelligence and machine learning. 
So that's part of my job is kind of exploring these early avenues and, and, and setting up um, all the infrastructure for the Navy ships and for our, our commands here in the, in the U S to be set up for these things. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's such a growing field. So it's fun to be at the forefront of, of it all and help develop it from scratch. Did you do your, your high school internship for CAP and your college internship for NREP and the smart student at the same uh, facility? Yeah, all the same facility and all within the same group as well. So I, and that's also where I'm working full time now, but it's a research group. So one, I worked with an engineer the first summer, and then now I worked with uh, some data scientists and got my hands dirty with more computer science um, focuses. Did you even know like things like this even existed? Cause you said you were going to be an engineer. Then you switched over to the data science field. Yeah, not at all. And like that, that's what I would, um, you know, tell any younger kids is like, just just try your hands and everything because you never know what you're going to like. And, uh, you know, as a high schooler, I was so set on being an engineer. And then I actually tried it. And I was like, eh, maybe not. This isn't for me. Uh, so you could have gave your 14-year-old uh, Reese Co. self uh, some advice to, hey, you know what? This is a shortcut. Try everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Luckily, I was I was open to it. I wasn't so hard set. Yeah. That's And, and so what about um, uh, anything cool that you did while you were on those internships that you never thought you would do? Yeah, so one summer we, I was a part of a team that was developing a uh, an AI agent for to help us ship maneuver around enemy ships. So we actually got to go out on a ship and test out this algorithm out on the water. Um, so that was a lot of fun to see it actual actually from the start of the development all the way to the testing at the end. Whoa, whoa! So wow, you as a as a high school and college intern, you even got to get on a ship like that is unbelievable. I didn't like I had no idea you could do stuff like that. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. The internship programs that I was a part of, it's not like you're getting coffee and making and making print or, you know, uh, making coffees for people like we were actually thrown out in the depths and uh, expected to work. It was awesome. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I, I appreciate you so much for sharing your experiences with us and and um, uh, telling everybody about what data is and data scientists. Now I'm thinking of now. Now I got my wheel spinning, like what kind of data is like on my phone that I can like play with and learn and, and do things. So. Uh, thank you for that, because um, I would like to know, like, what, like, what other places in li in life, I guess, can I experience interactions with with data and, and artificial intelligence? There's stuff everywhere. So, like, there's one project that I have a coworker who's working on, who's um, analyzing text data from tweets and seeing the uh, the different uh, gender gaps that in the language that people use in in tweets. So, yeah, there's there's data everywhere around you. Wow. Wow. Well, well, thank you, Reese. Look, I appreciate it. You are amazing. You're a rock star. And I hope that everybody can learn so much about data science and data uh, from you. So thank you for taking the time to talk to me today. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Awesome. Thanks, Ashley. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Reese.